just a couple of days ago talking to Sarah Tiana on Extra Points, I am beginning to think that Adam Silver is willfully doing calculated, not attempting to do damage to the NBA, but I think he ultimately is going to do that by trying to enforce the idea of parity and every year another team winning it. Your Celts are doing their best to see to it that they go back to back over the last week. They probably made it more likely that they at least are going to get to the finals once again, but we'll see about all that. But this silver move to try and create parity with contracts and beyond is a bad idea because I refer you to the 1970s when the NBA was irrelevant. Why? Because a different team was winning the title every year. Sports matter more when there is a usual customer or some of the usual customers are at the top of the pile. People resent it, but they ultimately vibe to it. McDonald's is successful because people know what they're going to get wherever they go to it, anywhere on the planet. If you go to the NBA, you need to say like, yeah, I haven't paid attention for the last little while. Steph Curry's still good, right? That Celtics team that's really good is hot. What about uh, Jokic and the Nuggets? They won a couple of years ago. They haven't fallen off a cliff. This idea that it's going to be rising and falling because it's worked for the NFL, which is too big to fail, and you can try and apply those same lessons to the NBA, I think may be enough. If baseball continues on its little track here, I think it has a chance to overtake it in the next 5, 10 years. You obviously completely disagree with that. You're in cognitive decline. <laughs> if you think baseball is gaining on anything. <laughs> baseball ain't gaining on the WNBA, baby. It's not gaining on the NBA. But you don't think that the NBA, that Silver is doing the wrong thing? And I, I'm not talking that the MLB is going to, you know, have some exponential rise in the ratings, but I do think it can improve itself and has improved itself by a whisker over the last couple of years. And Silver is going to drag down the NBA with this jive. I don't disagree that dynasties are good, obviously, but it, what makes dynasties good is the the guy, you know? So like, it's Jordan that obviously makes the Bulls the dynasty. So it's like, you can't really separate the personality from the dynasty, Bird versus Magic. You know, the 70s, it wasn't, it wasn't that different teams were winning every year. It was that, you know, Dave Cowan's and, um, you know, Dennis Johnson on the Sonics, you know, I don't know. Like just, there was no, there was, there, there weren't superstars. I don't know. You had Kareem, to, you know, Bird. I hear you. You had Bill Walton and all of that.